Hello and welcome to another Bushwhacker review. Today we are going to be taking a look at Buddy Baker's Norris Ford from 1976. As you can see this is another NASCAR Classics release and you got your typical NASCAR Classics box. Got the nice NASCAR Classics logo, Buddy Baker, got a sample of the car. 1976, number 15, Buddy Baker for Torino. There you have some info on the car and Buddy Baker if you want to see that. Got the NASCAR Classics logo. There are some stats if you want to see those too. Another sample of the car. They made a total of 1,000 of these things, Platinum Series. See, these actually retail for about $60 back when this got released. Which is kind of funny because I'm pretty sure this is like much better than a current $75 car, but whatever. Here's the car itself. Because it's a NASCAR Classics release, this of course does come with the stats card. Interesting to note that the sample on the car doesn't have a window net, but they did add that, so that's nice. Other than that, it's basically the same. But then you can see the stats on this car. You got a win, got two poles. I average finish is 15.5. These are kind of nice, but I would rather have it on the back, have that same kind of bio that's on the box of the car or whatever. But anyways, let's get down to the car itself. Do a quick 360 of this thing. Pretty iconic colors from Norris. Clint Boyer actually ran this as a throwback in 2015 on Michael Walter Bracing's number 15 peak and fiber energy Toyota <laughs> so if this looks familiar but you, you don't really pay attention to old stuff then that's probably why you remember it this is a very very nice mold from Lionel I can only remember like three times they've used this mold they used it on this one obviously they used it on the baby blue Bill Elliott car that Chase Elliott's throwback is to this year and then they also made that number 96 Cardinal tractor Dale Earnhardt car can't remember if there's any more I still want to get that Dale Earnhardt Cardinal tractor car line the Bill Elliott but Classic stuff is usually kind of rare. But anyways, let's get down to sponsors. On the hood, you have NI and Norris. Got a 15 in one of the headlights. Down the side, you have Norris and NI. Got a number 15, Buddy Baker, and got the retro NASCAR logo on the door right there. Got some nice retro contingency sponsors. Pure Later, Union 76, Borg Warner, Holly, Regal Ride, Gray Rock, Moog. Got some nice chrome wheels. And so you know, it looks like there's like a black, the center cap is black on these rims, so that's even coming across. Because you don't seem to get any like difference. If it's chrome rims now, it just seems to be chrome rims. It's got a nice rubber white window net. For some reason, I really like how that looks, just the bright white and rubber window net. As I said before, I like the rubber ones much better than the cloth ones, because these hold their shape very well, but they still have a nice little elasticity to them. But whatever. On the back, you have two 15s and Norris. Got another NI on the deck lid. Obviously nothing on the roof and no DIN number in the back. Got the same stuff down the other side. Let's take a look under the hood. This hood wants to open. There you go. And um, yeah, you know after the Tide car, I think I'm just going to not let open that too far. There's the engine detail if you want to see that. Nothing on the other side of the hood. That is not a good hood. Okay. <laughs> under the deck lid, you got your nice typical fuel cell and such back there. Obviously no roof flaps back then. There's the other side of the car. So you can see the DIN numbers under there. This is number 494. And got this nice, like, metallic blue suspension pieces. Why did they do that? I don't know, but it's awesome. <laughs> like, that looks very, very nice to actually have it be colored in. We, pretty much it's all either silver, black, or bronze, or whatever. I like how they added Lionel to the base, even though this is an old mold. But there you see 1976 Torino, used under license. Just a very, very nice looking car. They did actually make a 164 scale of this, so here is that, if you want to see that. This is one of the good 164s with the metal body, metal base, rubber tires, all that good stuff. Does it have an opening hood on it? I think this might have an opening hood, but it's kind of hard to tell. Can't even get the 124 hood open right, so I'm not even going to try on this one, but it looks like the hood does open on the 164. If you want this car, like I said, I think it's getting a little bit rare. Or it might be rare by now, I don't know. I bought it in one of the, like, Main Street tents outside of Watkins Glen a couple years ago. So, it might be rare now, but you know how much I love my classic stuff. So, whenever I can see a good deal for one, I'll usually grab it. It's definitely a cool car, you know. Some people don't like white cars. Really, I'm not too much of a fan of a white car. But this one, just with the white, with the blue and the bright red, look very nice. It's clean and looks good. I'm pretty sure after Buddy Baker passed away that this car probably did skyrocket in value because that's usually how this shit goes in this world <laughs> it's like oh i don't want that car oh he's dead oh yeah now i want that car because apparently some nascar fans are just sinister i don't know 
I mean, just look on eBay. Whenever, whenever a driver dies or passes away or whatever it is, just immediately go on eBay and just see how much some assholes skyrocket the prices. But whatever. But I think I've changed to say. This has been Buddy Baker's Norris 1976 Ford Torino. Hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.